It's an emergency. We have two patients. Both with extraordinary fevers. The Rosellin is unresponsive. Well, I can't tend to both unless you can give me two more pairs of arms. Let me help. I've just completed my training, and I'll do whatever it takes to save them. Are there no real doctors left? Uh, fine. Come. We're losing precious time. Leave the Rosellin. We must prioritize the Believer. As you wish. But the Rosellin will die unless we do something. Do they not teach the order of things in school these days? So what if they do? What does the order of things have to do with saving lives? Not all lives are weighted the same. You would do well to remember that. Quickly, Medina, these people are dying as we bicker. <sighs> I couldn't save him. Orders or not, I was the one following them. It's all my fault. Where are you going? Medina! I beg your pardon, Lord Saranoa, but a doctor from the Ministry requests an audience with... My name is Medina. I've heard much about your house and simply had to see it for myself. What insolence is this? Stand down. Pray tell, what brings you before me? It is said House Wolfert possesses a relic known as the Scales of Conviction. Is this true? It is. We turn to the scales for guidance in times of trouble. Then, I wonder if they might guide me forward as well. I... I had a crisis of confidence. A man was counting on me to save his life, and I let him die. I cannot let this happen again. I wish to save all the lives I can, regardless of country or creed. Pray grant me the chance to consult the scales, that I might walk the righteous path. The scales are merely a tool to an end. They are not a magical window into the future. When decisions must be made, all in this house have a say. We choose as best we're able and strive to ensure we chose wisely. You mean you strive not to regret your decision? That is all one can do. Forgive me if this is not the answer you sought. Then would House Wolford accept my aid if I offered it, my lord? If you would serve as a physician, that would be a boon. For we fear the war is far from over. I would be honored, my lord. I would see what I could do to rewrite the order of things. Then let us walk the path together. I am at your service, my lord. Ah, Lord Tellior, there you are. Yes, what is it? Tidings from Whiteholm, my lord. 
House Wolfort shelters Prince Roland within their domain and refuses to acquiesce to S. Frost's demands. What's this? Those fools would stand in defiance against the Duchy. The Archduke's forces move against the Wolforts as we speak. They intend to capture Prince Roland and bring down House Wolfort in one fell swoop. Hmm. House Wolfort is strong, but not strong enough for a full on attack from the Duchy's forces. And yet, there is always the chance, however slim, that they will prevail. Best wait and see how the situation unfolds. Yes, there is no need to rush into anything. We must consider carefully what will afford us the best chance of survival. Continue to keep your eye on the other domains. I must know of any movement among the wolf forts and the fox, no matter how inconsequential. Yes, my lord. So they would rather die than bend the knee? Wolfort truly is a house of fools. At least Avlora will have the chance to prove herself on the battlefield. That's why we took her in, no? She'll prove useful yet. For her own sake, I would hope so. Once we bring down the highest of the three high houses, what do you suppose will become of the other two? <laughs> I should think the answer obvious, dear sister. The cowardly Tellyors will be at our beck and call. The Falks, too stubbornly loyal for their own good, will not. House Falks presides over bountiful lands. Now, do you suppose Brother will pass up the chance to claim such a tantalizing prize? Indeed not, Brother dear. <laughs> You are aware that Prince Roland fled to the Wolfert Domain after the Crown City fell. As Frost demanded that His Highness be relinquished to their custody immediately. We have just received word that Wolfert refused. A most admirable display of loyalty to Glenbrook's royal family, if ever I have seen one. And they are not the only ones who shall remain true. In the name of King Regna, House Fox 2 will take up arms against those S. Frosty bastards! For we are one of the three high houses of Glenbrook. We will live up to that name and fight for our homeland with our lives! Aye! May your shields be strong and your swords strike true, my countrymen! For Glenbrook!
Flora? Are you certain? Yes. We are surrounded by the Archduke's main forces, led by General Avlora herself. She killed my brother and my master. I must avenge them, even if it means my life. Your Highness, your life is far too important to so blithely throw away. I know that, and yet... Facing the Asfrosty forces head-on is a fool's errand. They will drive us back with ease. Let us consider another strategy. As a matter of fact, there is more to this town than meets the eye. It is a secret which, under normal circumstances, would be divulged to a new lord only after their succession is made official. But desperate times. I sent a man just now to make preparations. Come with me. We haven't much time. I would hear more of your plan, Benedict. They say Castle Wolfort was built into a mountainside. Am I to believe there are yet more secrets concealed in its construction? Just so. As it happens, a contrivance of sorts was installed in the town to be used only in cases of dire emergency. What manner of contrivance? I've never heard such a thing. You wouldn't have. The information is divulged only to the Lord of the House and his closest advisors. It is a secret, one that embodies this town's true worth. I see. Then what, pray tell, is this town's true worth? The towering walls that rise up in all directions, the network of sloped waterways. This town appears as any other to my eye, but perhaps my gaze is untrained. It is the canals we will use. We shall pour flaming oil into them from above and burn our enemy out. What in the... Benedict, have you gone mad? Do you see those hawk sculptures located throughout the town? I do. They are the means by which the weapon may be activated, I presume. Indeed. Tearing them down will trigger a barrier to rise around the canals. After that, no one will be able to get in or out until the blaze subsides. You would burn people's homes. No, the very town itself, along with our foes. But just think of the lives that may be sacrificed. This is the path we have chosen. There's little choice left to us if we wish to survive. We must win, whatever the cost. Prepare for battle.
How fare you, Benedict? My preparations are complete. I trust you're ready as well, my lord? As ready as I shall ever be. We have given ourselves every advantage that we can, my lord. Indeed we have. I only hope that it is enough. My lord, the Esfrosty forces are on the move. And so it begins. Our foe advances. Take up your positions, everyone, and be ready for the signal. Shall we, my lord? Yes, it is time. this humble merchant is to look upon such beauty. Nothing would do Lionel greater honor than to see his powders and perfumes adorn your divine visages. Such honor, in fact, that he is willing to part with him for practically nothing at all. We haven't even coined for salt, let alone vanity. Mines are not but your ledgers. You peddlers disgust me. Well met, brave protectors of the realm. Lionel has brought everything a hero needs and more. Every item has undergone meticulous testing to ensure that they will serve you well on the battlefield. Out of our way, junkmonger. We've important duties to attend to. How rude. Where are the smiles and open coin purses the people used to greet Lionel with? Well, perhaps Lionel should take his goods elsewhere. War has made this place disagreeable. However... It is the perfect opportunity for the shrewd trader to amass his fortune. And Lionel is shrewd, if nothing else. My lord, that merchant who peddles his wares in our encampment has requested an audience. Uh, yes. Let him come forth. You do Lionel a great honor, my lord. A great honor. That he can count House Wolfort among his loyal patrons has ever been a source of pride. Yes, right. What brings you before me today? As my lord is doubtless already aware, war places a heavy burden on the treasury. A burden that only grows heavier as time drags on. However, a skilled negotiator can see his coffers even fuller at war's end than they were at its beginning. If he may be so bold, Lionel would offer his services in that very capacity. Uh. He understands your precarious position, trapped between two ravenous wolves. In such times, one can never have enough coin and resources to stave off what may come. Surely you agree? Your words have merit, and you have always been honest in your dealings with my house. I see no reason not to welcome you into our ranks. Splendid! You are as wise as they say. Wiser, even. Lionel shall not disappoint. Just the opposite, in fact. From this day until his very last, he shall stake his honor on the prosperity of your house. And if his own coin purse should grow fat in the process, who could blame him?
would have Lionel? orders. I won't lose! From where shall we strike? From above, Just back at you. I'll take you on. Oh, well, allow me. Here I come. Ready to see a spell? Ugh. Let me heal your wounds. Allow me. This will help. <laughs> Let me show you what I've learned. With the powers in me. Time for some research. Not an option. Ah! Huh. I'll show you what I can do. The fruits of my studies. I'll make you proud, Grandfather. Come at me. Way. Shall we begin? Your wounds are much better. With clear eyes, I move forward. Ah! I will end this. We will make our ideals reality. Time for some research. I do not miss. You cannot impede progress? See 
what Lionel can do. My turn. This is the end. My turn. Be gone. For the honor of House Wolfort. Perish. I'll show you what I can do. Shall we begin? Your wounds are good. very good. I'll take you on. Away! Rosa, victory is within reach. I fight for peace. Time for some sorcery. It's not over That's yet. That's the stuff. You won't beat me. Shall we begin? Allow me. Whew. Thank goodness. Allow me.
The battlefield is no place for children. I will have vengeance for my family and for my master. Prepare to die. Empty threats from a pampered prince. You will see what true might is. All's in place, my lord. Ready when you are. Very good. Now, to lure them where we want them and initiate the device. You are aware of what will happen next, yes? Yes. And I am prepared to make the sacrifice. With me, everyone. All companies, advance! Leave no survivors! Reinforcements are... Follow General of Lara! Let no Wolford car survive! The town is surrounded, and enemies flood in by the... We knew getting into this that we'd be outnumbered, but victory's still in the cards if we're... I cannot bear the thought of sacrificing my people. Have Laura. Mark my words. I will send you to the depths of hell by my... Flee while you have the chance. I will end this. Shall we strike? So House Wolford would set their own home ablaze to bring us down. 
must admire the desperation. The wildfire has been successfully deployed. The town. How terrible. For my kith and kin. General of Laura, the second regiment has arrived. Forward! Leave no trace! Quail not at their numbers. I see a path to victory. All for victory. Lionel always pays his debts. I'll take you on. Time for some sorcery. Let me heal your wounds. Your wounds are my thanks. I will end this. Let me cause some trouble. My research bears fruit. Have you brought Koi? My turn. Where shall we strike? I'll show you what I can do. You won't beat me! I shall try my level best. This shall be a boon for the future of House Wolford. I will crush you! I fight for peace.
for the good of all. <laughs> Cool heads shall prevail. Your wings are You have my thanks. Lionel has arrived! This is it! For you! So, it falls to me. Another approach. My turn. Sheer go. I'll try this. Forward. Here I come. Let us pry out their weakness. This should do. Well done! Allow me. For the good That's of what all. I need. Shall we begin? Your wings are good. Lionel thanks you. Time for some research. Profit comes to the prepare. I will crush you. Time to work. Yeah. For victory. Defeat is not an option. Here I come! It's not over yet! I was close. I've been waiting for this! While you have the chance. 
There is no mercy on the battlefield. You must stay vigilant. My turn! work. I shall do what I can. Not an option. My turn. Is that all you got? My shirt from no danger! Allow me. Stay right there! Let us pry out their weakness. My turn. You 
cannot impede progress? Come, that is not Lionel's forte. Let's commit this to memory. So, it falls to me. Cool heads shall prevail. Thank you. One step closer to our hope. Flee while you have the chance. I do not leave survivors. For the honor of House Wolfort. My turn. Ah! Now then, to work. Come on! Ah! I will end this. With the powers in me, we will make our ideals reality. Victory is within our grasp! Bah! You will- There is no mercy on the battlefield. comes to the prepare. This is it! 
for you. Shall we begin? Thank you. Defeat is not an option. Death from above! I will crush oh. you for victory! Here! My utmost thanks. Your orders? Into the shadows. I've been waiting for this. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. Let me show you what I've learned. I shall protect you! I'll keep on then. Where was I? Cool heads shall prevail. For one and all. You'll be well compensated. I shall try my level best. Stay composed. I'll keep on then. Profit comes to the prepare. What's up, Lionel Sleep? Defeat is not an option. Now I end this. I will crush you! Ah, not quite. For victory! Ha! That tickled! Ha! 
out of my way! I love the battle! Here I come! Just hold on, everyone! Much appreciated! Too obvious. Back at you! So, it falls to me. Research bears fruit. Do they have the upper hand? Go back out here! I shall try my level best. Stay composed. Much appreciated. My knowledge grows deeper. Cool heads shall prevail. is grim. Wait your turn! For victory! Sit! My turn. I feel stronger already. You on. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. Now then, to work. Stronger than you look. I shall try my level best. Let us heal our One. defenses. Let me heal your wounds. Your wounds are my apologies. Let me show you what I've learned. Let me help. One day. Have you brought cork? Wolf is cornered. Charge! Be gone! I shirk from no danger! Ah! My turn. Ha! Victory is within reach! Victory is within reach. Yeah. Stronger than you look. Uh, You're uh, it. I'll take you on. Uh, 
Enjoy. The tides are turning. So, it falls to me. Free. Time for some sorcery. Just hold on, everyone. My utmost thanks. I've got it. Let me heal your wounds. Your wounds are... My apologies. I see a path to victory. A brief rest. Forward! Now I end it. To lead, I must grow. I fight for peace. Let me help. Splendid. Have you brought court? See what Lionel can do. Lionel's coin purse grows heavier. Charge! Sit! Stronger than you look. I will end this. You won't catch me. I've been waiting for this. Come and get me. Now then, to work. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. I shall do what I can. Be at ease. Thank you. Not bad. Ah. Then where shall we strike? I'll make yeah. this quick. I see a path to victory. Stay confessed. Yes, do! Allow me. Lionel always pays his face. Yeah. This calls for wit. Prevailed. I'll show you what I can do. Come at me. Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. Ioya. For victory. For the honor of House Wolfort. I see a path to victory. What have we here? Allow me. Let me have Our victory is assured. Orders. This victory is within reach. They would set their own people's homes ablaze.
retreat! All companies withdraw at once! Victory is ours. Though both sides suffer great losses on the battlefield, in the end, it is House Wolfort that triumphs. The vanquished General of Vlora is forced to retreat to Castle Whiteholm with the Esfrosty army in tow. I have no words to excuse my failure, Your Grace. I underestimated the Woolfort army. It will not happen again. Indeed, it will not. I will accept no apology for your incompetence, save victory. The Woolforts may have gotten the better of us this time, but it came at a cost. We must strike again before they can regroup. Rest yourself of Laura. I will have need of you yet, and soon. I shall not disappoint you again, Your Grace. You have my word. And you will keep it. Nothing and no one will stand in my way. I bring good news, my lord. As Frost Army marched on Castle Walford in an attempt to seize the prince, but they were roundly defeated by House Walford's forces and retreat to the Crown City as we speak. Joyous tidings indeed. I knew the Wolforts wouldn't let us down. I'm also pleased to report that Prince Roland is unscathed. It would seem young Sarah Noah is more than capable of carrying on Lord Seymour's legacy. Triumph as they did, they still suffered considerable casualties in the battle. It is more than likely that Esfrost is already preparing for a second attack. Very well. Take stock of our own forces and determine how many men we can send to House Wolfert's aid while retaining enough for our own protection. Yes, my lord. It's time to take a stand. If the three high houses come together as one, I am certain we will prevail. To be quite frank, I underestimated House Wolfort's strength. To think they were capable of driving off the S. Frosty army forces like that. I suspect the outcome came as a surprise to the Archduke as well. And yet, something tells me Wolfort's victory is more than a fluke. I shall keep that in mind. Still, this development is to our advantage. This will only make it easier to carry out our plans. Just so, Your Excellency. Everything is proceeding as you anticipated. Yes. We shall have our way. It is but a matter of time.
Warhouse Warfort triumphed? Yes, my lord. The Archduke's army has already withdrawn to the Crown City. That said, it would seem the Wolfort army suffered significant casualties. Did it now? It is not as if I entirely failed to consider the possibility of an Esfrasi defeat. And yet, it is hardly an ideal development. <laughs> Whatever are we to do now? Wolfort may have won the battle. But, can they win the war? Hmm. My lord? Ready a bird. I have a missive that needs sending. As you command. I shall see to the wounded. I will help as well. My hawk can assist with clearing the rubble. My thanks to you both. Your aid is most welcome. I am ready. Go safely, Anna, and give my best to the others. We take a risk in entreating a powerful nation for aid. I need you to determine to what extent we can rely on them, if at all. Leave it to me. I've sent Anna to the holy state of Hyzant. Our alliance may not be what it once was, but we must seek help wherever it may be found. In a perfect world, we would be able to count on the cooperation of our neighbors here. Indeed, unity within Glenbrook is of the utmost priority, especially now that we've ensured Prince Roland's safety. And yet, we cannot count on houses Tellior and Fox to act in our best interests. We must prepare ourselves for every contingency. You are right, as always, Benedict. We've taken the first step down our chosen path, but there is no telling what awaits us. Do you have a moment, Your Highness? Oh, it's you. As silly as it may sound, I've never truly understood what it meant to be royalty. Does my life carry more weight simply because of the blood in my veins? So much so that the lives of others must be sacrificed in my name? You need not worry about that, Roland. Lord Wolford speaks true. The scales of conviction guided us, but this decision was ours. We have chosen to walk this path with you. I was born the second prince. No one expected great things of me. And yet, simply because I had the good luck to survive, my very existence now necessitates all these sacrifices. If I may be so bold, it was not luck, your highness. We protected you. I know this, of course. That's what makes this so hard. You all fought and continue to fight for me. And I can scarcely take care of myself. I need to become stronger. I must. For my own sake and for yours. <laughs> 